What's up everybody, welcome back to my laboratory where safety is number one priority and Father's Day coming up so I thought what can I do for my dad, what can I buy him or what can I build? Well I thought maybe I should do uh, like fishing life hacks and organize all his fishing tools and fishing pools and that good, would be like a really good Father's Day present instead of going to the store and buy him a bunch of junk. So I thought might as well I should film it, what I'm gonna do for my Father's Day. Let's check this out. So I got a whole bunch of hooks that are really unorganized and it's kind of dangerous. What I'm gonna get a safety pin and put it to the hook just like that and I'm gonna do it to all of them. And you wanna separate them by size, that's for sure. So if you need one, you know which one they all are the same size. And now with the safety pin, all your hooks are organized and not gonna fall over anywhere. And if you need one, you can just open it and take one out. Boom. Really easy. Use wine corks for your trouble hooks. Just put one like that and one like this. And boom. Now you can put it somewhere and you don't have to worry about stabbing yourself. So very simple and real cheap and these corks are reusable so every time you're done fishing just put a couple corks on and you're good to go. There's a hole in your knife. Then we're gonna get a line and put it to this knife and make a bunch of knots on it. So it, it's gonna stay there. And on this side, on a, over the line, we're just gonna put a bubble. Put it to and close it. And now we got unsinkable knife. For this life hack, we're gonna make a bubble out of a cork. I'm gonna grab a drill and just gonna drill a hole to the to it. So what you want to do is cut over here a little bit the pencil. You put the line between the pencil cut, just like that. And then just push it to the cork, just like that. And now you can slide the hook on your hole pretty easy. You can wrap it out and wrap it up around here and make a knot on, at the end. So it will sink like that and stay like that. Pretty awesome, huh? Now let's test our bubble out. I put a little bit of weight over there and go drop it and guess what? It stays pretty good. I put the hole a little bit sideways. That's why it stays a little bit sideways. But it doesn't matter. If fish gonna pull, it's gonna start sinking in like this. So you'll know you got something on it. Pretty awesome, huh? For this life hack, I'm gonna get a piece of power cord and then I'm gonna pull out the strings out of them. And then what I'm gonna do is grab a cork, drill another co hole in it, and put the power uh, cord to here. And then I'm gonna grab my sunglasses and put these tubes into here. One and two. Then I'm gonna get ta black tape and tape this up. And guess what? You got unsinkable glasses. If you fish a lot, I bet it happened to you when you glasses fell off and sunk into the ocean so with this little uh, cork now if you're gonna drop them they're not gonna get sunk let's check it out all right the glasses are sunk but because of the cork we're just gonna pull them out and boom unsinkable glasses awesome fishing poles can be really annoying to carry around because it's just like they bend around and they don't stay together you know so what would I do is grab a velcro that stick itself like that and I'm gonna take a piece from this side and then I'm gonna hook it up on one side of my fishing pole and then I'm gonna grab another piece of velcro and stick it on this side. So next time I'm gonna grab my fishing poles, you see they stay together and I don't have to worry about breaking them or nothing look at this and now i can put them on the boat and they don't bend around when i'm driving in the waves they don't fly around everywhere they just can stay together like that 
Here is the right way to tie a hook up. I'm gonna use a big hook so you can see better. First we're gonna get this line, I got the braided line, that's why it looks like that. And then I'm gonna make a loop like that. And then I'm gonna put it to the hook. So this is what it's gonna look like, you see it's doubled. Now I'm gonna grab it and make another loop right here. And I'm gonna go in and out like that a couple of times. One, two, and the third one, three. Next I'm gonna grab this loop and go inside of a hook like that and over and I'm gonna grab these two next and pull them together. Just like that. You see how you see how it stays snug right here? And you have perfect knot over here and now it's not gonna go anywhere. And that's the right way to do it. Now your hook ready to go and it's not gonna fall off or anything. Really easy and the best way to do it. Another really good idea for fishing pool holder. What I did is grab a noodle and you see this is velcro right here. I hooked it up on a velcro just like that. So it stays together really well so it does not fall off at all. And then I got a drill build something like that but a lot bigger and I chopped the holes out. So this is where fishing pools are gonna stand in. So then I'm gonna put this 2x4 over here and line it up with the hole and I'm gonna slice through a noodle like that so this is where they're gonna fish and pull get, get stuck. So what I'm gonna do is put it on a hole right here and then put it slide it through just like that. And I'm gonna do it with all of the fishing pools. So now all your fishing pools gonna stay organized and the best. So I would say this is one of the best fishing pool life hacks. You put a donut inside the Tupperware, you cover it with baking, oh, I'm sorry, baby powder. You can shake it. It's to make it look like a powdered donut for your dad on Father's Day.